Monday, 3rd of January, 2022. First reading. Reading from the first book of John. Whatever we ask God, we shall receive, because we keep his commandments and live the kind of life that he wants. His commandments are these, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, that we love one another, as he told us to. Whoever keeps his commandments lives in God, and God lives in him. We know that he lives in us, by the spirit that he has given us. It is not every spirit, my dear people, that you can trust. Test them, to see if they come from God. There are many false prophets, now in the world. You can tell the spirits that come from God by this. Every spirit would acknowledge that Jesus the Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But any spirit which will not say this of Jesus is not from God. But is the spirit of Antichrist, whose coming you were warned about, and now is here in the world, children, you have already overcome these false prophets, because you are from God and you have in you one who is greater than anyone in this world. As for them, they are of the world, so they speak the language of the world, and the world listens to them. For we are children of God, and those who know God listens to us. Those who are not of God refuse to listen to us. This is how we can tell the spirit of truth from the spirit of falsehood. Sponsorial Psalm I will give you the nations for your heritage. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. I'll give you the nations for your heritage. Now, O kings, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with awe and trembling. Pay him your homage. I'll give you nations for your heritage. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The people that lived in darkness have seen a great light. On those who dwell in the land and shadow of death. A light has dawned. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the Book of Matthew. Hearing that John had been arrested, Jesus went back to Galilee, and leaving Nazareth, he went and settled in Capernaum, a lakeside town on the borders of Sibylim and Naphtali. In this way the prophecy of Isaiah was to be filled. Land of Sibylim, land of Naphtali, Way of the sea on the far side of Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people that lived in darkness have seen a great light. On those who dwell in the land and shadow of death, a light has dawned. From that moment Jesus began his preaching with the message, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. He went round the whole of Galilee teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness among the people. His fame spread throughout Syria, and those who were suffering from diseases and painful complaints of one kind or another, the possessed, epileptics, and paralyzed, were all brought to him, and he cured them. Large crowds followed him, coming from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and Transjordania, Gospel of the Lord.